Hello out there, Daniel Johnson from the Dutch office, welcoming you to another reaction video. Joining me as always, my buddy Sean Shields from the U.S. office. Hey, Sean. So we've got uh, we've got a special holiday edition part two uh, with some friends back um, to give us special holiday cheer, um, and uh, we'll let them introduce themselves. Why don't we start with you, ladies first, Agatha? So hi, so my name is Agatha. I'm a cell manager at Hotel Kit. So Hotel Kit is a communication operation all in one software. So we have like task, manual, reparation, inspection. Basically, we're your best friends. That's pretty much where we are. Fantastic. Glad we're friends. <laughs> Good to have you uh, be on your side. OK, so Paul, tell us about yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Malloy. I'm the Group Operations Director at Hoist Group uh, and we provide technology solutions to the hospitality market. And as you can tell from Paul's hat, he also moonlights as an elf. So he's got <laughs> That's awesome. So you guys know what this is. You're, they're sweating it uh, underneath their uh, the, the, the knit caps and the antlers. So we're going to throw uh, an article up and ask them a question and get their raw reaction. Whenever you are ready, Mr. Shields. All righty. So this is an article um, in from our friends over at Hospitality Upgrade. This is from their fall um, article. And um, the challenge is, uh, the article is talking about 2021 and what, what will be the life of a hotel technology uh, leader, uh, CIO, I, IT director for, for hospitality in the coming year. And um, the article breaks down three, um, this is, uh, uh, three things. One, keeping the lights on. Two, if you go to the next page, Sean. Uh, uh, no, three is optimized. Two is, uh, you scrolled in too much. Oh, contactless. So the idea of in innovating. So there's, there's keep the lights on, innovation and optimization. And the, the very, at the, on the very first page is kind of, it's, kind of summarizes um, the challenge. If you go back to that, no few staff, no capital, long and urgent to-do lists, kind of encapsulating this incredible period of challenge for the IT leader at a hotel, need to be innovative, don't have the staff in order to lead that innovation or to, to do the, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, to, to even keep the lights on. Sounds like a perfect storm. What, mm. what is your take on, you know, are these, are these the only, you know, is this appropriate categorization? Keep the lights on, innovate and optimize. Is there something else that, that technology leaders need to be looking at in, in 2021? Are we expecting too much of the CIOs? I mean, is it even fair? What is your take on on this role, this important role in this very important time? Paul, what do you think? Sure. I, I think, as you said, it's a very important time. I think uh, a lot of CIOs um, really have to bring their value to the, the businesses they work in, and especially in the hospitality sector, because as you said, you know, we've had to evolve and change and adapt and be flexible. Um, and I think the CIO has to, in the past, was could always kind of look into the future and see what was coming and plan three, five years ahead, for example, on yeah. solutions. But now they have to be more flexible and, and, and you know, yeah, look at things there and now. Yeah. Uh, you touched on the point about contactless. I mean, uh, the, the surge in contactless solutions that... I mean, our, our solutions alone, the Hoy solutions, uh, it's been um, crazy, the, the amount of demand and uh, companies yeah. and hotels looking for them. So I think as a rule, uh, these people are now have to be really flexible and be able to, um, to look at what's out there and, and adapt quickly and look at their hotels and decide uh, what solutions they need to do and bring them in quick to, to yeah. fit the environment, you know? Do you think, that, do you feel like that, I'm just 
just thinking about it myself, and I'm not the CIA, CIO of a hotel group, but I feel pressure. I feel like there's oh, yeah. just a ton of pressure. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because now you now the CIO, you know, the technology part of it is heavily weighted right right now today. It's heavily weighted on, you know, not uh, sorry guests not being able to transmit or catch any diseases or, you know, with COVID. So the technology part is kind of now in health. Yeah. You know, whereas before it was technology, you know, where it'd be door entry systems, door, uh, sorry, contactless systems, TV systems, Wi-Fi, PMS, all those systems. Now it's, yeah. we need to think about the, the transmission of diseases and technology. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, oh. they had they had to worry about viruses a little bit, you know, on the, on the uh, uh, digital yeah. viruses, right? Yeah. And yeah. now it's... It's, it certainly hasn't gone away. I mean, from our business, we've seen the the threat vectors increase during this time. So you've not only continue working about worrying about data security, but you also have to be working about physical, you know, healthcare. Can you imagine a, a year ago in a, a, a technology meeting and someone saying, "Yeah, we need to think of a solution that's going to prevent the spread of disease." It, what? No. Oh, yeah. Now, this year, I'm sure the meetings for next year will be around, okay, what solutions can we bring in contactless, you know, door entry systems, yep. as we said, you know, all those things. Yeah, indeed. Agatha, thoughts? Well, honestly, Paul said everything that I was thinking as well. It's a, it's quite crazy to be right now in this uh, working with technology in hotels. The pressure must be crazy. Um, and just like we saw in Hotel Kit as well, as, as we were scared, actually, that we will lose uh, customers, it was totally the opposite. People really need technology right now, um, even to talk to each other, even to, yeah. because there's less staff in people, less staff in hotels. We need, we need, since there's one person instead of three people, the person needs to say what's going on. And it's, it's yeah. technology right now is extremely, thank God we have technology, actually. Think about it. If we didn't yeah. have it, that would have been so bad. Yeah. And uh, oh, that was, I mean, it would just been, I mean, yeah. <laughs> crazy. I cannot even imagine. Honestly, can you imagine I mean, if we didn't have, for example, the capabilities of having these con these tele telecommunication conversations? Oh my! Yeah. So we would be back totally. at 19, yeah. 1917, 1918 pandemic, and, and exactly. it would, you know, it would be crazy. Sending letters. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> and reading newspapers, that's pretty much yeah, the only, yeah. only thing that you could do at that time. So thank God for technology. And um, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much, they have a lot of pressure. And I'm, I won't be surprised if there will be more staff needed in, for the technology in the hotel than actually, for example, receptionists. I don't know. I'm just yeah. green story right now because... Not only, like you just you said, there's more viruses going online because everyone is way more vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, people are using it more. Um, nice. There's a virus, a, a live virus and a technological virus going on. So I feel like I won't be surprised if like some, at some point there will be even more people skilled in technology in hotels than... Than the actual like front desk staff, et cetera. Yeah. It's kind of the same, uh, I forget what year they ac they expected. Um, it's not too far in the future. It's something like uh, 2026 or something like that. I think Sean and I, you and I talked about this. Uh, the expectation for a car is that that the value of a car, what goes into making a car, will be more more of the car will be a computer than actual car parts, like traditional car parts, like wheels and you know, belts and things like that, things that would, you know, most of the value that is, that is, that goes into making a car will be, you know, digital, computerized uh, electronics. So a, a car is becoming more a computer than even a car. So when does a hotel become more of a, yeah, a, a digital entity yeah. than, uh, yeah. um, than, you know, the, the, the innkeeper of, of, of the past of the you know of the days yeah. gone by yeah however I'm, I'm sure that the the human touch of hostility will not be so much lost because this is what makes it hospitality right yeah. so i feel like even even if the person is skilled in technology that doesn't mean that this person is not a people people mm. uh, you, you will need to be a people people <laughs> yeah. because that's what hospitality is about yeah so that's the expectation is yeah 
yeah that's that's we will have to be multitasked like more skills and it, yeah. this is something that anyways they, it's predicted already since years that i mean my generation the generation even behind me like we're going to be multi-skilled because that's pretty much yeah. what is needed right it's it's just a normal it's just what's happening it's yeah. what's coming <laughs> so yeah there yeah well, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to imagine a hotel as a human vending machine, right? You're not getting anything. You're vending yourself, right? So you walk in. You've got the vacuum sealed thing. They blow the air all of you, suck the dust and everything, and then you 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 swipe, and then you're on a conveyor belt that conveys you to your room, and then you are told what what common areas you could visit, you know, etc. And then you go into your little vending capsule where you spend your night, and then you know, you go back out, you know, so you have an entrance and an exit, you know, and then that's how you keep it safe. So it's like a hotel vending machine. No people, no people, just computerized. You've been watching too many Jetsons uh, episodes. <laughs> I think, uh, Agatha, you're spot on. I mean, people are going to want to have that, that rich, warm uh, human experience from the locals, you know, experience that. But a lot of the road, kind of uh, um, menial labor uh, uh, activities, if we can get that into technology so that we can optimize, right? To yeah. exactly. warm yep. experience, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the technology just enhances the hospitality experience, yeah. doesn't it, you know? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, I thank you both for for being, uh, being with us here as we kind of celebrate the the end of 2020 <laughs> all the highs and the many many lows but uh, uh good to have you uh and um all our friends that that tune in for these reaction videos and uh, so we wish you a happy holidays and all the best in 2021 we will see you there happy holidays and merry christmas may happy new year everyone